Net2 Access Control Software, designed to make the management of any building very simple. Net2 Access Control Software is user-friendly and flexible networked access control and door entry system, which is managed from a central PC. In the previous video, we learned how to download the Paxton Access Control Software Net2 and install it on our PC in an easy way. In this video, we will learn how to add controllers to the software and configure the system to make it work for the users who's making Paxton Access Control setup first time. Without further ado, let's start the video. To run the Net2 Access Control software, click on its icon on the desktop. The Net2 login screen will appear. Select the username as System Engineer, and enter the password, set during installation. Once you have entered the password, click OK. After clicking OK, the Net2 Access Control software will start running, as you can see on my screen. Next, you need to add the controllers, but before that, you have to set the controller parameters and update the firmware. To do this, close the running application, and open the Net Server Configuration Utility Tool, which will be automatically installed during the Net2 Access Control software installation. To open the tool, go to the Start menu and search for the Net Server Configuration Utility Tool. Log in into the tool by entering the same user credentials used for the Net2 Access Control software. After logging into the tool, you will see multiple parameter tabs at the top, such as General, Database, TCP IP Protocol, etc. Go to the Database tab, where you can restart the Net2 server and SQL Server in case of any communication or other temporary issues during troubleshooting. Then, go to the TCP IP nodes option and click on the detect option to detect the controllers in the network. As you can see, I have found one controller available on the network and it's detected on the tool with all the necessary information for further configuration. To change the parameters for any controller from the list, select the checkbox behind the controller. To change the IP address of the controller, Click on IP Address Configuration and change the IP address of the controller according to your network. However, if you don't want to change the IP address of the controller, you can update the firmware of the controller. To update the firmware, click on Update Firmware to update the latest version firmware into the controller. The tool will ask for confirmation whether you want to update the firmware. Click Yes to update the latest version firmware. Once the user clicks Yes. The tool will display a message stating that the firmware update was successful, and 187,812 bytes were transferred in 4 seconds. Click OK to continue. Then click Apply to start the upgrade. You will need to restart the Net2 server before these changes become active. The tool will ask whether you would like to restart the Net2 server now. Click Yes to continue. Once you click Yes, the tool will close automatically, as you can see on my screen. After the tool is closed, run the Net2 Access Control software and wait for some time for the controller to be added automatically to the software after the firmware update. If the controller is not added automatically, you can add it manually by right-clicking on the door option from the left menu, then selecting Add New Access Control Unit, entering the details and clicking Add. However, as you can see on my screen, my controller was added automatically, so let me close this window. After adding the controller to the software, the user can see the status as OK to confirm that the controller is online, as shown on my screen. To configure the controller further, double-click on it, to open the configuration window. Here, the user can change the name of the controller, or door by editing the door name field. To change the auto unlock time schedule, select the appropriate option from the list. To view the available access levels, click on the access levels option on the left menu of the main screen. As you can see, I have multiple default access levels here that can be changed or modified according to the project requirements. For this example, I will select the all day, every day access level.
then select First Reader. Next, select the reader type as Paxton Reader and keep the keypad type as None. However, if you have a keypad reader, you can select it from the drop down list. Then, select the token data format as Paxton Tokens. If the user wants to change the default time for the door open, they can modify it according to the requirements by clicking on the up and down arrows. Finally, change the inactive to token only at the operation mode type. Once all the configuration is complete, click on Apply to save the settings. After configuring the first reader, the user should follow the same steps to configure the second reader. Once the hardware configuration is complete, it's time to configure new users and access cards. To do this, show the access card on the reader, and then go to the Events window from the main menu, which is available on the left side of the screen. Once the user shows the access card on the card reader, the token number will appear, as you can see on my screen. It will show access denied, an invalid token. To make the token valid in the controller, the user has to add this token number to a user with the necessary permissions to access the doors through this token or access card. To do that, go to the user's option from the main menu. Then right click on it, and then select Add New User. The user adding form will appear, fill in the required slots, add the token number, and then click on Add User. Once the user is added, they will appear in the list. Double click on the user to modify according to your requirements. To test if the added token or card is working, show the access card to the card reader again, and then go back to the events option. As you can see on my screen, this time the same card got access permitted, and the door is open for 5 seconds, as per our previous configuration. I hope you understand how to make the complete setup for the Paxton Access Control System in an easy way. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this type of content on my YouTube channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you need any technical support related to any ELV systems, please contact us. If you'd like to have instant support for any troubleshooting and configuration, please join our membership portal.